It's race weekend seven for the FIA Formula 3 European Championship. It's at Sanford in the Netherlands. The former home of the Dutch Grand Prix lies on the Dutch North Sea coast. It's a 4.3 kilometer ribbon of tarmac that winds its way through the coastal sand dunes. And this track is a real challenge, not just because of its old school nature, because wind and sand make it hard to find grip on the track. Sanford, it's one of the highlights, I would say, because the, the track is very difficult. It, the conditions change all the time from wind, weather-wise, or rain. Uh, so it's very, very tricky for, for, the, for the young pilots. And uh, it's absolutely a place, place to be, a place where they can learn a lot. Hi, guys. It's Joey Mawson. I'm driving for the Van Amersfoort Racing Team. And I'll take you for a lap around Zambor. Fast start finish to start the lap. So we're approaching at 200 and over 230 kilometers. Down three gears. This corner is really banged, so it generally gives us a lot of grip. Using a bit of exit curve, climbing up to fourth gear. All about carrying entry speed here as there's minimal exit. Then back down two gears, really focusing on getting a good exit because we have the longest straight of the lap. Again, climbing up through the gears, fourth gear, fifth gear and six gear now. In quali, we'll be trying to take this corner flat out, if not nearly flat. Really impressive what the Formula 3 cars can do here. Now we downshift to fifth, small lift, back on the power. And now here we got the two probably most important corners of the track, back down to third gear, focusing on getting a good exit, trying to get track positioning. Again, focusing on a good exit, third gear. Again, climbing up through the gears. Or fifth gear and now approaching the slow speed chicane back down to third attacking the curb back down to second really focusing on getting a good exit climbing up through the gears third fourth gear now the last corner on the track small lift back on the power really early focusing on getting a good exit and now here we're focusing on getting minimal scrub and climbing up up to sixth gear to finish off the lap Thank you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the lap here around Zambor. Unfortunately for Joey, he will start race one from the back of the grid after an engine change and a subsequent grid penalty. First of three races sees Lando Norris from Great Britain, who lies second in the Drivers' Championships on pole position. Ferdinand Habsburg will start second. Swede Joel Eriksson, one point behind Morris, third on the grid. Fourth on the grid, Maxi Gunter makes a very good start. He is the championship leader by over 40 points, but Lando Norris from pole position, car number 31. Great getaway from him. Joel Eriksson up into second, just a point behind Norris. Third in the championship, coming in here in trouble behind. Two cars off already, and one upside down, and that's David Beckman of Germany. Ralph Aaron also in trouble, and Beckman just digs in in the deep, gravel at Tarzan. Safety car is out and Beckman, good to see, out of the car in one piece. I think two drivers crashed and the second guy went uh, in my car. was very close but he hit me and then I uh, went a bit uh, problematically in the gravel and that was the problem so I rolled over. I was not hurt or something like this because the cars are very safe and there was a bit, bit uh, bad position. But um, yeah, I think after five minutes or so, they, they, uh, they tried to roll it over and it, it was successful. And then I went for a short time to the medical center, but nothing happened and I uh, went back. Yeah. Good news for him. And Lando Norris controlling the restart as the safety car is withdrawn. 33 minutes plus a final lap to the race. There's still lots of racing to do at Sanford. The long straight down towards Tarzan, that banked first right-hander. And Lando Norris under pressure from Joel Eriksson. Third place, Maxi Gunter. And Gunter needs to stay with the leaders to try and make sure he doesn't lose ground. But Lando Norris easing away fast. Joel Eriksson second. Number three, Maxi Gunter with the pink colours. Now, he is just ahead of the battle for 
Fourth place, Ferdinand Habsburg and Callum Eilert. And Eilert easing his way through on the inside. Number 62 machine, Habsburg, though, gets himself back in front as they sweep through the Hunsrook. Down the straight again in the slipstream, perfectly placed. Callum Eilert goes the long way around the outside. There's grip inside and outside at Tarzan. And he just about keeps his foot in, but Ferdinand Habsburg not giving him enough room to get around. Little lock up as they turn into Hugenholtz. Still Ferdinand Habsburg, the Austrian driver, hanging on to fourth trouble. Out on the uh, back part of the circuit for Marina Sato. Japanese driver losing his wing going through the gravel on the exit of Skyflak. Mick Schumacher, a little further down the order. Prima Power team waiting to see if they can make an impression on this race. Lando Norris leading for Carlin and romping away. Motor Park's Joel Eriksson in second place. These two will both close in the championship on the third place man, Maxi Gunter. He cannot get close to them. 33 minutes has run out. One final lap to go. Heading up towards the Audi S's. Rumping it over the curbs on the first part and being cautious on the second. No need to take any major risks here. Through Kumo in the final corner, the Ari Leyendijk corner, named after the Dutchman who won the Indy 500. And out onto the start finish straight. Checkered flag awaits. Victory in race one for Polman Lando Norris. And a massive margin of victory for Lando Norris. Winning by nearly nine seconds from Joel Eriksson, Maxi Gunter in third. The pace was really good, so big thanks to Carlin. Um, yeah, I did the fastest lap on the last lap, so uh, yeah, that's always something better. Uh, it was only Lando who was quicker than us, and that describes what, uh, why, because he had new, new tires on the left. So, but I feel quite comfortable for the quality two now this afternoon. So uh, let's see what we can do. I had a really good restart and uh, tried to attack the guys in front of me, which finally did not work. And um, then from P3, it was the maximum to just save the tires, um, drive my own rhythm, and um, yeah, secure the 15 points, which are good for the championship. Well, the championship lead comes down from 40 to 30 points. Two more races to go here in Sanport. Sanport on the Dutch North Sea coast. Two races to go in the Formula 3 European Championship race weekend. And a chance of a championship lead change here if Lando Norris's run of success continues. My name is Jehan Darawala. I'm a rookie in Formula 3 and I'll be racing with Colin Moses Bo. So my target would be just to be as fast as I can in qualifying and just learn for the races. Obviously at the end of the season I'd like to finish in the top three, optimistically, but uh, I think the top five would be a good result. I think uh, the first time I was too small to actually drive a go-kart, so I sat in the passenger seat with my father. I think I was four years old at that time, but I professionally started racing when I was 10. I would say Spa, because it's one of the longest and it's also got a mix of really good corners, high speed, low speed, and I think it's the driver's track. I'm always a big fan of playing sports, even when I'm not racing. I play cricket, football, badminton, table tennis, and I also like chilling at home and playing the PlayStation. I like Thai food because uh, I'm a big fan of spice and I think that's pretty spicy, so it's nice. I've got uh, my accounts. If you just look my name up in the search bar, you'll find my username and uh, all my accounts are open, so it's pretty easy to follow. Curse the camera strikes again, Jihan Torovala. Having trouble in qualifying, off-track excursion means that he will start no higher than 10th on the race to grid. 
20th race of the season doesn't start with Lando Norris on pole either, even though he set the fastest qualifying time. He didn't slow enough for yellow flags and has a two-place grid drop. So Callum Islet starts on pole, Jake Hughes alongside him, and Lando Norris lines up in third. Ready for the start, great getaway by the Red Nose, Callum Island to take the lead, Jake Hughes tucks in behind, Lando Norris in third place, starting in seventh on the grid, Maxi Gunter, and his 34, 43 point lead, rather, 44 point lead coming in here, down to 34 points after the first race, down in seventh position, that will only grow, wheel to wheel action further back as they swing through Gerlach and then left into Hugenholtz, named after John Hugenholtz, the man who designed the Sanford circuit. Tail of the field, making their way through as they sweep out the Hunsruck and Climbing through Rob Slotemacher over the hill in Skyflack and plunging down through the two right-handers at Marlborough and then the tighter right at Renault. Left through the Vodafone corner and then the long back straight as they head down towards the Audi chicane. Trouble as somebody spears off the track and that's Pedro Piquet and contact with Joey Mawson. PK, the Fan Amersfoort driver, making contact with his teammate, wheels spinning fruitlessly, and a Brazilian out of the car. Safety car scrambled on an old school circuit like this. Gravel traps are a relatively new addition, and there's not an awful lot of space to play with. So safety car is out. And Callum Eilert will lead the queue ahead of Jake Hughes and Lando Norris. And at this stage, still in seventh, Maxi Gunter in the pink car, number three. So Gunter with work to do. Fernand Habsburg and Harrison Newey in front of him, as well as David Beckman, before he can even think about getting to the top three. As they go green, it's a good start from Callum Eilert. He's got a couple of car lengths over Jake Hughes. And Hughes has managed just about to distance himself from Lando Norris. Harrison Newey in fourth, David Beckman fifth, Fernand Habsburg sixth. And then a battle just behind Guangzhou, Guangzhou Zhu passing Mick Schumacher. Two Prima drivers. And Callum Eilert making good his escape using new tyres with that pole position. You have to be very canny after qualifying one. That only sets the grid for race one. Qualifying two sets the grid for the other two races. You have to be canny when you use your tyres. Into the pit lane comes Gian Duravala. And in the inset, it was a close run thing, but a judge to have made a jump start. And so he will have to serve a drive-through penalty. Through comes the Indian driver, the colors of Sahara Force India on the car. Callum Eilert still the leader and trying to build his advantage. Daravala picking up the order, going by Amea Vaditayan. Inside line in Tarzan. Lots of banking on the corner to help you. Callum Eilert romping away now. And there's Lando Norris in the first race, using that new tyre advantage very much to his benefit. Running clear to the chequered flag. Victory for Callum Eilert, another massive margin. Joel Eriksson finishing in second. And in third place, Maxi Gunter. Oh, celebration from the Prima Power team. Getting Maxi Gunter anywhere close to the podium would have been a big thing. But seventh place for him. So Jake Hughes taking second, Lando Norris in third position. The safety car restart at the beginning. Um, that made it a little bit more interesting. Uh, I think otherwise at the start I would have just done the same. Uh, so I had to do a good safety car restart and I think I did that once. Um, so yeah, other than that, it was just keeping consistent, keep going and yeah, 
drove a really good race. I think I had the quickest lap as well, so all together was quite good. I think in the middle part of the race, I was challenging Callum quite well. And, uh, and then for some reason, one, one lap, someone brought a load of dirt onto the circuit from a previous lap and it just covered the tyres in rubbish and I had no grit for four laps and uh, I lost the margin to Callum. And then after that, you set up for second place unless he makes a mistake. So no, I'm happy with second. It wasn't the win, but it's still good points. Third place was okay. Obviously, I would, would have liked the win, um, but I made a slight misjudgment uh, yesterday in qualifying. So I had the, the grid penalty, uh, same as several other drivers. So um, yeah, they basically didn't give me the win for today. But uh, yeah, we have race three coming up, so hopefully I can try and win and, and pull away in the championship. Callum Island, the winner, obviously, for Prima. But Lando Norris at Carlin is now the championship leader by a single point with race three to come. Back in Sandfort, ready for the final race in the Formula 3 European Championship. Everyone's eyes on the main prize, getting a drive in Formula 1. And there's an ex-Formula 3 star on yes, hand to quiz about nice it. to see, especially because uh, some young drivers for sure will end up in Formula 1. And uh, that's why I'm always happy to, when I have time, to always look back on F3 races. Because first of all, you know, I, I, I drove myself, so I know how the cars are feeling. Um, and then the racing is always great. So will Nikita Mazepin be the next F1 driver? He ran for Sahara Force India in the official F1 test in Hungary earlier in the month. It was obviously very difficult, but I have a very professional team with me who helped me to prepare for it, and I think I took place with it, being fit enough for it. Lando Norris also ran in the test sessions in Hungary for McLaren Honda. The biggest thing is, uh, well, quite a few things. So a lot more power. Uh, braking is much better and downforce is much higher um, and on top of that you have a lot of buttons and everything to, to do on the steering wheel so um, it's much harder uh, for sure but um, yeah at the same time I was able to, to get comfortable with the car um, yeah find the limits and do some fun laps well obviously there is a long long way to become a professional Formula 1 racing driver uh, both of them did very well in the test in Budapest. However, Lando uh, Norris got a, a very specific program to make him look and shine dramatically good, and he made the best of it. So my, my congratulations that he actually took that chance. You don't get it very often. Spoken by a man who knows Christian Danner, great racing driver from Austria. Race three starts with the man of the weekend on pole position, Lando Norris, the championship leader by a single point over Maxi Gunter. With Joel Eriksson still in third. Maxi Gunter not starting at the sharp end of the grid. Guan Yu Zhu is on the outside of the front row. Maxi Gunter lies third for the start. Another excellent start from Lando Norris, and Maxi Gunter will try and follow him. But 62, Guan Yu Zhu cuts his nose off as he moves in. In fact, 62, Ferdinand Habsburg. A couple of changes to the grid. Lando Norris taking the lead. Fernando Habsburg and Guan Yu Zhu battling for second spot. And the Austrian driver in second with behind him the pink car. Premier Power Team's Maxi Gunter. So what has Lando Norris got to show the rest of the field? Easing away quickly. Prima power team drivers struggling in the wake. Little fight behind between Ralph Aaron and Nikita Mazepan. Two drivers both racing for high tech. So Lando Norris immediately starts to build his advantage. Through the Audi S's. Everybody remaining sensible. Final race of the weekend. No time to lose your head still. Just as many important points on offer here. Nikita Mazapan holding off his teammate at the moment. So they battle at the bottom end of the top ten. Guang Yu Zhu just clinging on. Battle for fourth across the line. Ralph Aaron down the inside, wheel to wheel. Ooh, David Hales and the boys at high tech will be.
breathing in and keeping everything crossed. They get away without too much drama. Ralph Aaron takes the place. Nikita Mazepin drops behind his teammate. Lando Norris pulling away fast. Mazepan under pressure as well, but so too a move coming up in front from Ralph Aaron. And a new nose for Callum Eilert, the Prima Power team jumping into action. 25, Mick Schumacher battling with Joey Mawson, the Australian racing for Van Amersfoort, the Dutch team. Mick Schumacher, another of the Prima Power team fleet. Right behind, more wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. Car number one, Joel Eriksson. Bouncing across the curbs. In trouble now. And feeling the pressure from Jehan Daruvala. Daruvala can't get through. Lando Norris leading now by nearly six seconds from Ferdinand Habsburg. And watch the high-tech boys again, wheel to wheel. There was contact, Nikita Mazepan drifts out a little wide. Ralph Aaron had to take to the curbs. Good effort from Pedro Piquet to try and go around the outside at Tarzan, inside and outside. Both lines work, couldn't get by Jake Hughes. His retirement for Callum Eilert. Action everywhere in the final race of the weekend. Nikita Mazepan versus Joey Mawson still raging on. Checkered flag is out as Lando Norris claims victory for the second time in Sanford. Ferdinand Habsburg making it a Carlin at 1 2, and Maxi Gunter on the podium in third. Yeah, it was a really good race. Uh, obviously, the win was the best I could have done, so uh, I'm happy. Um, two wins uh, and one third is obviously a, a good result for the for the whole weekend. You're still pushing really, really hard. You're making sure that you're keeping the rears in, in the right temperature window, and yeah, I, I'm I'm really pleased actually with how the sectors then came out because you're just focusing on getting your laps together because you can. You can focus on yourself and not on the cars behind. I mean, still we we managed to to make the best out of this. We can more or less. Uh, it was far from what we wanted to achieve, but um, yeah, I mean the, the, the points gap is, is still small. We have uh, many racing weekends and races to go, so I'm still positive to bounce back uh, very soon. So Lando Norris has a points lead of 11. Joel Eriksson still in third place. Callum Eilert in fourth. Jihan Deravula where he hoped to be in the top five. Next time out is at Germany's Nürburgring in September and you can catch all the action in the highlights program afterwards. We'll see you then. Bye for now.